Hi there, I'm Steve with the Hobby Farm Guys. Today, we spotlight a small pig breed with a somewhat mysterious past, but seemingly bright future, the American Guinea Hog. Stick around. The origin of the American Guinea Hog is somewhat mysterious, and that often leads to confusion. Part of this comes from the fact that several pig breeds have been referred to as guinea hogs. For example, African guinea hogs, frequently called red guineas, were brought to America on slave ships. They were a large breed with upright ears, bristly hair, and long tails. Now extinct, they're speculated to be among the ancestors of the American guinea hog, due to the occasional tinge of red that may appear in these normally bluish black pigs. DNA analysis conducted in 2014 found the American guinea hog's genetics consistently cluster it with the Gloucester Old Spot pig. This points to the American guinea being a likely descendant of the British improved Essex hog, which were brought to America because it was cold hardy and could feed itself by foraging. Despite the mystery of its exact origin, one thing is clear. The American guinea hog was the homestead hog of choice in the southeastern U.S. during the 1800s and early 1900s. Kept on small farms, this breed provided both meat and lard, and was able to do this as a yard pig, one that forages for much of its own food. Another reason this pig was popular was its reputation for killing and eating snakes, which protected the family and other livestock. As lard fell out of favor and larger, meatier pigs became popular, the American guinea hog nearly disappeared. By the 1990s, there were fewer than 100 guinea hogs left in the United States. But today, it's making a comeback due to all those qualities that make it a good homestead pig. The American guinea hog is ideal as a sustainable heritage breed, known for its moderate size, great foraging ability, friendly temperament, excellent flavored meat, and useful lard. Much smaller than industrial hog breeds, a well-conditioned, fully mature guinea hog may range from 150 to maybe 300 pounds, though most will fall closer to the bottom of that scale. This makes butchering and finding freezer space easier. They will overeat and fatten easily, which can cause health issues and breeding problems, so you have to take care not to overfeed them. Fully grown American guinea hogs measure between 46 to 56 inches, as measured from between the ears to the base of the tail. They have a straight or slightly arched back. From the side view, they should represent a long rectangular appearance with flat sides and rounded corners. However, variations in appearance are common. Uh, they have medium-sized, upright ears, and slightly dished faces with snouts that vary from rather short to medium long. Most American guinea hogs are solid black. A common variation is solid black with minimal white points at the feet and tip of the nose. An extremely rare recessive red gene exists in the breed and will occasionally exhibit. American guinea hogs are exceptionally calm and friendly. Females with piglets are easily managed as are adult males. They do well in the company of children and other farm animals. They thrive where ranging and grazing are constant activities, which provides them plenty of exercise. When good grazing and adequate feed are available, they're minimal rooters. The expected lifespan of the American guinea hog is 10 to 15 years. They are slower growing than most, but produce meat which is moist and has a deep, rich flavor. They also produce a good amount of lard. Ready for market in about six months, they produce a well-marbled carcass at around 75 pounds haying weight. These slower growing and smallish pigs don't work well for modern farming practices or for those interested in top efficiency. But on the homestead or hobby farm, this gentle, easy to manage yard pig will find much of its own feed, produce a smaller, more manageable harvest of lard and delicious meat. All great reasons this breed is making a comeback. Let us know what you think of the American guinea hog by leaving a comment below or put your spotlight request there for us too. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Thanks for watching and keep on hobby farming.